Life, happiness is an inside job. <laughs> I thought I'd make a quick video about that. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of things that are inside jobs. Uh, happiness is one of them. But what does it really mean to be happy? The Buddha said everything about this life, this reality is suffering. And he said it because we're attached. We're attached to too many things. We're attached to our homes, our cars, the watches that we wear on our wrist. We're attached to our children. We're attached to our wives. We're attached to the tax collector and we're attached to the, <laughs> the, the coroner. The one that's going to, you know, uh, all, uh, what do you say, call him? Paul Bear. <laughs> oh, that ain't right either, shit. Uh, if you're a home director, <laughs> we're attached to that son of a bitch too. And uh, all that takes uh, a lot of the happiness out of life. But when uh, you learn the art of detaching, it becomes simple. You know, sometimes uh, people live their whole life and they never understand how to detach until it's at the very end of their last days, last weeks, last hours. And then um, I've heard it over and over and I've I seen it with my own father. He passed away right in front of me, but I seen him become a, a yogi, become a highly, highly uh, telepathic, uh, enlightened being with just in a week of his passing. He was expounding on the truths that I, I know to be true. And he lived his whole life really a simple, simple person, but he, he had his, his way uh, holding, maybe it was unforgiveness, but it was, a, it was an incident that happened in his life when he was like five or six. The movie theater in Greenville, Mississippi had uh, a Tarzan movie, and so they brought in uh, Johnny Westmiller, one of the Tarzans, and he had Cheetah with him. And they invited some kids up onto the uh, stage, and my dad was standing kind of closer to, to Cheetah, the chimpanzee, than other kids. So. He reached over, the ape did, the, the ch chimpanzee reached over, grabbed my dad's face, turned it towards him, and gave him a kiss. And the kids started laughing in the movie theater. Everybody laughed. And that just somehow embedded something into my daddy that he never wanted no one to ever laugh at him, no matter what. And he would literally fight he will fight anything and everyone all his whole life if he thought he was the the butt of the joke and that that incident that had happened triggered his reactive mind his re, his reactions were he wasn't really responsible for his reactions it was in his subconscious but you know, at the very end of his life, we had a conversation about that. And he said that he agreed with me that that could have been one of the things that sent his life into a, a state of really disappear, disrepair. He, he, it was something he couldn't fix. He, he didn't know how to fix it. But at, after he got totally knowing that he was fixing to die, he was ready to talk about it and so we had a conversation and I told him there was such thing as a reactive mind and it has it has hindered mankind for years and years and so that type of reactive mind is an inside job it's in our subconscious every one of us has had something happen to us that has totally set us on a course of being a perfection, a per, per, uh, I'm getting tongue tied, being a victim. Yeah, 
Well, I'm fixing to have to go. <laughs> Number one, my damn arm that I'm holding this camera with has done got tired. <laughs> and it, that tells me the video is getting long and it's shaky and all that kind of stuff. All right. Hey, look, I really appreciate everybody watching these videos, subscribing, hitting that like button and leaving a comment. I sure appreciate it. I, I, I actually love you guys. <laughs> it's like, you know, it's, it's therapy for me to talk to y'all sometimes. And I'm going um, to do it more. All right. Love you. Talk to you later. Now, while we're on an animal theme, we have news that the leading primate in the Tarzan films of the 1930s, Cheetah the Chimpanzee, has died at the grand old age of 80. His human co-star back then, Johnny Weismuller, died more than 25 years ago. But Cheetah went on to become the longest living chimp in captivity. Nasha Tana looks back now at his life and his career. He was Tarzan's comic sidekick and one of the last remaining Hollywood stars from the Golden Age. Gentlemen, this is Cheetah. Ah, a magnificent specimen of chimpanzees in dactylus. <laughs> but this Christmas was to be Cheetah's last. He died on Saturday from kidney failure at the impressive age of 80. Chimpanzees are part of the great ape family, and in captivity they can live up to 50 years old, which is 10 years longer than in the wild. So for Cheetah to have reached this milestone, it's extraordinarily rare. <laughs> it's thought Cheetah was born in Liberia, where he was discovered as an infant by an animal trainer in 1932. Soon after, he starred alongside the American Olympic gold medal swimmer Johnny Weissmuller. He was one of several chimpanzees that were used in the films. Cheetah, what you drink? Uh, schnapps. His taste for alcohol wasn't just reserved for the films, and he was also partial to the odd cigarette. Once retired, Cheetah lived out his days at this sanctuary in Florida. He spent his days finger painting and watching American football, where staff said he was also known to throw an occasional diva strop when he didn't get his own way.